will uh, understand about undo management let's understand what is undo management or undo let's understand what is undo first of all when you do a transaction then the undo data related to that transaction is stored in an undo table space the undo data is stored as extends it is stored as extends undo extends in undo segments so when you create a database a default you have an undo table space so let's watch this table space of a default undo default database so fire a query on disk table spaces and let's see all the table space in the database you see undo tbs1 is an example of undo table space there can only be one undo table space active at a time in a database now let's understand what is undo undo is stored as undo segments in undo table space previously the undo segments were called as rollback segments the oracle db had to create special or under rollback segments in the previous versions for larger transaction he had to create a specially large undo a rollback segment but in 10g everything is managed automatically now let's understand more on undo what is undo when you fire a transaction an undo is generated now let me show you an example of what is a transaction in this example here i have a table called kj and in that i insert some values like first the table is empty and then i enter some values like 10 12 44 and 32 now all this data inside this table are in a set of transaction the moment i do a commit it gets saved in the database permanently if i do roll back then whatever i did before the last commit or before the last ddl statement is rolled back so now i did a roll back and so what happens is whatever action i did is undone now how is that possible it's possible because of undo when you create when you fire a transaction like this like insert value there would be an undo data about this transaction in undo segments so the undo data for this insert statement would be a delete clause delete with a row id while when you do a delete the undo data would be an insert clause and that undo data would be stored in undo segments a transaction can span only one undo segment so for example if this was all a set of transaction then this would the space for undo required will only be in one undo segment so now you know that transactions during transaction undo data is generated and that is stored in the undo segment and that is useful when you decide to undo that transaction or to roll back that transaction next other important advantage importance of undo 
is it helps you in providing read consistency how does that happen for example whenever you fire a transaction the undo data is stored in the undo segment of the that contains information about that particular transaction undo information about that particular transaction now suppose a user fires a query so it reads the before image data of that transaction on that table and to read that data it uses the undo data which is existing in the undo segment let me show you a live example of this now uh, i'll right now query my table pat pata and in that i got right now Le hundred and ten thousand records. While when I query the table, uh, I do some trans. I, I log in into that particular user in as another session. I logged in as a different session here. And what I do is, I try to. fire a transaction like i delete all the contents from that same table that is pata now when this transaction is occurring if i still query this table it shows it has got 110 100 records even though here it has deleted those records that is because when the transaction was being fired when that transaction was occurring the undo data was stored in the undo segment and the first query which fired it is accessing this undo data from the undo segment so undo helps you in read consistency it helps you in seeing the older data the moment i do a commit then if i query this table again then it will show me the immediate image i have not fired a commit commit till now so it will still show me the older image data now if i fire a commit here immediately the other session will show me the right information so now you understood undo plays a major role for read consistency undo also plays an important role while recovery and also flashback in oracle 10g we got facilities of flashback let me show you how would oracle help you during recovery undo help you during recovery for example if there is an instance crash or you did a shutdown about and there were what happens is when you start the database the database runs in an uh, crash recovery mode it applies all the contents which were in the redo and applies it to the data file so there is a roll forward which occurs uh, during crash recovery but before opening the database it will also undo the transactions looking at the roll back segment or the undo segment and then open the database so undo segment undo 
plays an important role during recovery also undo plays an important role for a flashback database flashback during flashback in flashback we got facilities like flashback transaction query flashback version query and also flashback version query flashback transaction query and also during flashbacking a table so for example here in this situation when i deleted this table i can flashback the table to an scn or system change number or to a time before this i fired this transaction and i can restore the database back so that is a facility of flashback table and for that it requires undo table space so you know now undo plays a major role during transaction if you want to roll back a data undo plays an important role it plays an important role for read consistency read consistency during multiple user environment it plays an important role during crash recovery and also an important role for flashback database flashback features like flashback tables and flashback version query and flashback transaction query 